Hello world, welcome back to Razor RC. Just want to shoot a little tech talk video today talking about how to basically get your Eclipse on and off uh, as easily as possible. So this might help some of you out there. Um, what you need is basically a set of needle nose pliers, uh, something that actually has a little bit of a flat spot on the tip rather than like a complete point will help quite a bit. So this is what I use to get Eclipse on and off and that's pretty much the only tool you need. So here in front of us, I've got a TLR22 um, shock and I'm going to be changing out the pistons to a different size and uh, as you can see there's an e-clip on top that can be a little bit annoying uh, to get on and off. So to get that e-clip on and off um, the, the trick is actually to use the needle nose pliers and you're going to have one edge of the pliers actually up here on top basically resting against the shock shaft not against the e-clip on top but actually the shock shaft here that is protruding just a little bit. And then the other edge of the needle nose pliers is actually going to be pushing against one edge, kind of uh, not straight across, but kind of at an, a slight angle, so that hopefully it'll kind of come around the shock shaft rather than try to go through the shock shaft. So that's the trick. Put one edge on top against the shock shaft, and then one against the uh, edge of the, of the Eclipse. So uh, for example, I'm going to kind of basically putting my uh, needle nose pliers here at the 12 o'clock and about the 6 o'clock position. And you may have to do a couple swipes at this um, before it actually comes off, but um, for each actual push, so there you go, I've actually got uh, basically one, one edge pushing against that and then one against the top and you can see it's sort of about halfway off, maybe a quarter of the way off. Uh, that's through one clip. So do it again, same thing, push against that edge of the e-clip and then the other tip on the actual shock shaft. It's a little bit hard to do on the camera but so with another push I have it almost completely off and with the last push uh, or you could actually probably just pull it off at this point there you go, it didn't go flying across the room. Um, you got your E-clip undamaged and you can go ahead and pull your piston off. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the E-clip back on. It's quite easy at this point. Um, get your new piston. I'm actually going to two by 1.6s. So throw that on there and then putting on the E-clip's really straightforward. You basically just put it on top like that and then um, one edge of the uh, needle nose is going to go up top against the e-clip and then the other one on the bottom against the uh, shock shaft So you basically be squeezing the top and bottom straight together You know like 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock pinching them together and then it should pretty much just go straight on Kind of hard to do this on camera without uh, completely blocking it but um, yeah there you go it's straight on there and nice and tight so yeah that's pretty much uh, the little trick I use to get Eclipse on and off hopefully that helped you um, I know it can be kind of a pain but actually one advantage of these is you don't have to use Loctite or anything um, when I'm putting these on and off so anyways that's it for the video uh, thanks for watching please like subscribe to my channel as always hope you enjoyed it uh, hit the add notifications button share with your friends and that's it for now uh, take care guys